everybody. This is Robin at the Kent Emporium. I sure hope this is working. Something weird is going on with my phone. Anyway, hope all is going well. I had to quick rejuggle because um, Leopold took over some of the space. I got this weird box in the middle. Anyway, oh well, we're just gonna have to go with it today. Not sure what's going on. It's one of those goofy days for me. I don't know about you, but it's like, thank God my head is still attached to my shoulders. Else I would have lost it somewhere today. Because it's just like out there. And I'm almost, I'm literally been laughing at myself all day. With all this extra little time. I just like, you know, I'm like, what have I been doing? I'm just, I used to be a very organized, very structured person. And that's just gone all by the wayside. And it's, I just laugh at myself because it's been starting to get very comical how my days are now set up. You know, I do exercise, I have some coffee, I leisurely start to do email and work and, you know, and been testing out new foods to eat. I've been really into this, the hemp um, powder. And then what else did I try today? Some type of coconut, um, not an oil, I forget what it is, a like coconut butter or something. So that's kind of interesting. So it's just been all over the place between testing out new foods just to keep myself healthy and just trying to rejuggle my schedule to figure out what works for me in this kind of world um, versus the world I came from. And there, see, there's that hat that pops up. I don't know if you see that hat, but I have no idea what is going on with my phone. Anyway, it is Cinco de Mayo, so I figured we would um, just go with whatever is going on with my phone. Anyway, so I figured I would pick a hero's journey card today just to see where we are because I don't know about you, but I mean, my life has been turned upside down and it's gotten very comical. I find myself laughing at myself. And I hope you guys are finding yourself laughing at yourself and not stressing yourself out as your structures fall away and you're like, gee, well, how do I, you know, how do I go about my day to day? It's, it's time to be curious about what's going on in your life and just kind of accept it. It's going to be different. And what would that look like? Just be curious with that, right? This is all the time where we get to kind of play with the, the, the curiosity because going back to what it was might not happen. So how would you like your life to look like? So the card for the day is divine discernment. Step back to find clarity. Well, that's an interesting one. So let's see what that has to say for us. To the one who can perfectly practice in action, all things are possible. Ernest Holmes. Take a breather and honor your yin nature. That's your feminine side. This is not always so easy to do in a culture that honors and celebrates the ang, the drive, the you know, the motivation. While tuning up to its while turning up its nose at the virtues of the yin quantities of flow and letting go. So I know we come from a society where it's all go, 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 do, do, do. And this really, with this virus and what's going on, it's really making us sit with our yin side and just kind of easing in. Back to me laughing about how my days are totally getting into this crazy flow. of, And I'm okay with it. In yang mode, we get things done. In yin mode, we fill our tank and reflect on our larger vision and purpose. So when it's time to move, we can do so with precision. If we are to live in balance, we need both action and reflection. There are times to, to do and times for inaction. To know which mode is most appropriate, step back and practice discernment. So the mantra for today is divine discernment. Let's me know when to go, when to stop, and when to drop into space in between. Well, that's an interesting message because it really kind of defines what's going on, right? You have the people... Um, um, protesting, who want to open everything up, right? That's very yang, very, we got to get back to business. We got to get back to business. And then there's the other side who's like, well, maybe we need to sit and wait. That's the very end. And how do we balance those two? How do we kind of like establish a, a new model of getting stuff done, but maybe more of a little bit flow, maybe not so aggressive. So anyway, so I figured we would um, use a few little different instruments today. Today I got rolled out these. I have many other instruments I have yet to pull out. I'm just slowly learning, figuring out how to incorporate them into sound baths. So thanks for being my guinea pigs. So anyway, let's start with three deep breaths and just think about whether you're in yin or yang and how could you maybe more balance that, right? So let's take a deep breath in. Hold. Exhale. Again, a deep breath in. Hold. Exhale. 
And one more time, a deep breath in. Hold. And exhale.
and their little sound, mini sound bath with three deep breaths. Let's breathe in. Hold. Exhale. Breathe in. Hold. Exhale. And one more time. Let's breathe in. Hold. And exhale. And we'll end this session with pulling an angel card out of our little basket here. Our card, card today is joy. So that kind of is a nice card to go with our divine discernment as you're trying to balance your yin and your yang, your action versus flow. And how can you come back into joy? How can you be in joy when you take action and when you're still, when you're in flow um, and you're marching forward? How can you move forward with flow and with joy? So anyway, I hope you have a great rest of the day. I know Leopold is here. And I'm glad that Grace didn't beat him up to get a spot while you guys were meditating. <laughs> have a great day, and I will see you again tomorrow.